Hello. In this video, uh, I would like to demonstrate another uh, features which are coming in version 5.3, and this time it will be explicitly about online version, and it will be about custom fields and data entry forms customization. Previously, it was possible to customize data entry forms only in desktop in Windows version of this application. But now this difference uh, will be removed and uh, customization will be available in online version as well. I go to settings and here we have button called edit custom fields. In this window we can create custom fields in different data tables which we have in business manager database i will take now for example i will take tax table because it's pretty short contains few fields and it will be easier to demonstrate data entry form customization so i'm selecting reference data tax here and specify field name let it be comment and field caption, it will be additional comments. Field name cannot contain uh, such symbols like space or columns. So it, it, it should be just one, one word with, uh, with numbers. Numbers are allowed. Value type will be string, max length, say, Let's specify max length to 5. Predefined values. If I hover mouse, there will be a tooltip. And is required. If this checkbox is marked, then it won't be possible to save a text until comment field is uh, populated. When I'm done, I hit save and close. And next, next uh, thing which we need to do is to restart application. And in terms of online version, uh, the, there is a bit different process. It's not enough to just log off and log on. We need to restart application pool. So on, the, on a server, uh, you need to go to Internet Information Services console and restart application pool. I will now hit pause button in recording and return when application restarts. All right, application restarted and let's log on and open reference data taxes. And now uh, immediately in the list of taxes, you will notice that our custom field was already added to the list. Here, is, here it is, additional comments. We can hide it if needed or go to column chooser to return to a list. Now if I will open existing text, type something and hit save and close, you will see that we cannot save it because additional comments is not filled. By default, this, uh, this field was added to data entry form. Let's type something here and you can see that additional comments here is also saved and populated. So now this column is in database and we can use it. And second part of this demonstration will be about data entry form customization. This field was added at the, to at the bottom uh, in maybe in some random place for other entity types or it uh, for example uh, could not be added at all by the uh, automatically by application and we should somehow add it to, to a form and now in version 5.3 5.3 we have a new button here customize layout of current view rearrange add or remove items i can click it and we will uh, be moved to Layout customization form. It has uh, a different look 
comparing to desktop version where we can just drag and drop fields like uh, uh, explicitly uh, right on the form uh, here we have implemented this in a bit more maybe complex or difficult way and it's not so easy to do to customize as in desktop version but again here we have layout structure table it's a tree list uh, which contains groups and items group means uh, like logical logical entity which could contain another groups and another items and main uh, main characteristic of, of a group is a group orientation vertical in this case so everything which is placed in this in this group will be organized in vertical order by default uh, root uh, root uh, items here which we have we, we could have many groups on on the root level and many items everything will be uh, ordered vertically so it's not mandatory to create root group with again with vertical orientation but in this case it's created so it's odd this one so if we want uh, items to appear in horizontal order we need to create a group with group orientation set to horizontal and then put everything into this group say if i open properties of this group change it to horizontal click ok ah sorry and again i need to open this group and change it to horizontal as well then uh, now all this one two three four five six seven items will be arranged in horizontal order let's check if it works i click save and close and return to our form which now looks not good this is because of uh, some limitation which we have in online version and in uh, horizontal group there should be placed no more than five or maybe six items seven when seventh item exists in a horizontally oriented group then there will be such a mess in, in the layout so let's return to this change this orientation to vertical and then drag for example our say gross based and comment into our root group so now we have root group with vertical orientation then a group with horizontal orientation and two items in this uh, root group so now we should have five items horizontally oriented and then two items below it save and close return then uh, again layout looks not as expected and let's fix it as well I return to uh, to our layout customization form and here you can find for each item we could we can specify items item size and you can see that for this one we have 25 for this 0 for this 25 as well uh, the normal approach for setting item size is to use 100 person percent as a base so for example if this group contains one two three four five items and if we want uh, to see all these items uh, with similar with equal width then we have to set item size to 20 for each of these items let me do this of course we can specify different percentages and then items will have different width here and here and now our layout should look better you can see this so all items have diff, uh, equal width and now it's uh, very well aligned doesn't take too much space i can uh, i can change 
browser window with and you can see that it looks well even on small screens. Let's make another example. Let's go back to customization form. And let's say our let's say our comment field will be hidden. And return back here and uh, we cannot delete it, right? Okay. Say we want to create another another field which does not exist in in the layout structure. In this case, we can click new button here, provide some ID. Item type, select parent group, say it will be our main group. Index is sort order uh, will be determined automatically. Item size has some meaning only for horizontally oriented groups. And database field, we can select a field which we want to display. So uh, in this in this case, we only don't have ID field on the form. So let let's edit it to to a form. And now we have it here: item one linked with ID field ID column of our tax table. Save and close. And now we have ID here. It's not available for editing because IDs are only for uh, only read-only uh, fields. So this is how it's possible to customize data entry forms in online version of Business Manager and how to create custom fields and put them on these forms. Thank you for watching. Hope you liked it as always. And any suggestions are very appreciated. So please don't hesitate to send messages, create threads on forums, write comments here, anything. Just we will be glad for any feedback from you. So thank you for watching. See you next time.